finally finished reading The Brothers Karamazov. It took me at least a dozen tries over a course of about 10 years, but I finally got through it. And I didn't read this, I read it on my Kindle, um, which you can read and watch the video of my review on the Kindle. I'll put a link below. It's a good book. It's a really good book. Uh, I'm a big fan of Dostoevsky. I do like that Russian classic literature uh, tradition. Um, so it's great read. It did take me about a month, over a month to finish reading it, but I'm glad that I stuck with it and I did it a little bit each day. The nice thing about Dostoevsky's writing or, or the style of this book was um, the chapter lengths, which were really easy to get through in one sitting, which was good. Uh, so you could just sit for anywhere from six minutes up to about half an hour, depending on the length of the chapter, and then just read the chapter and you could go through. It's a great way to get through it. Um, the one thing I will mention is that the translation was super important to me. This is uh, by Constance Garnett, uh, which was written in the early 20th century. The translation was from the early 20th century, and I picked up uh, the translation by Richard Peaver and Larissa Koholaneski or something like that. And it's a much easier read. For me the language is a little bit better it just made more sense um, yeah it was just much easier to get through uh, that translation by Peaver and Koblohovansky so that's something too important to remember if you're going to pick it up um, I don't know which is more true to the original Russian because I don't speak Russian or read Russian but um, it was it was good and I'm glad I got through it the story is fantastic it does differ from something like Anna Karenina, which I read a few years ago. I found myself more engaged with the characters in Anna Karenina. And here, the more philosophical stance um, was a bit harder to get into, but it was definitely worth it. I did study philosophy at school, so it's kind of, it was kind of nice. In any case, uh, I'm going to definitely have to read this book again in a couple years or something like that, because I don't feel like I got into the true depth of it and all that it's uh, all that it's richness so that's something I'll have to, uh, to put on the list for a couple years from now um, maybe again in the summer or something like that if you're thinking about picking it up I definitely recommend it I think I bought it off of Amazon the um, Peaver uh, translation for about 11 bucks um, I know you can buy the book if you're in Toronto BMV is a great place to buy books buy used books um, they're dotted around downtown and up into midtown, things like that, uptown Toronto. So Young and Egg area, there's one here down at Young and College is another, and I think, I'm not sure if there's still one on Bloor. Definitely a place to go check it out. Um, yeah, so I think it was great. It did take me about a month, and if you're looking for it, uh, please do. I'm going to put a link down to my Goodreads profile, so friend me on Goodreads, and uh, maybe we can connect that way if you're interested in the book or discussing it. Right on. Um, happy reading.